the end of an era. One of the most recognizable names in American retail is closing its doors today. John Schumo has more on the end. Outside of an abandoned Toys R Us, where do you ever see stuff like this? Look at all these toys scattered out here. Along with all these toys out back, wait till you see shots of the inside of this building. What's up everyone? I'm back with another video and before this video even starts, I want to say go ahead and check out the merch. It's at kylemagrand.com. This is actually my first time filming a video in a little bit. I stacked a bunch of videos, so I was just uploading them because they're so I have such big news coming soon basically. I don't mean to kind of keep dragging this series on. But my buddy who works nearby, an old abandoned Toys R Us, said that as he was taking out trash out back, that he actually seen toys and stuff left behind. They're just kind of thrown all over. What Whoever just weathered, homeless people take them. But I wanted to come check it out. Shots of the inside of the place. If the toys are still here, what is left behind? As you can see, just a fully empty parking lot, as you could imagine, except my car over there. But this is a fully empty parking lot that belongs to Toys R Us. I actually visited another Toys R Us and they take the signs down off them. So this is even surprising that it still has the sign up. It's not the typical kind of Toys R Us you would see where it's real colorful. It's kind of just a modern Toys R Us. But I don't know if you can see over there. There's also a Babies R Us right next door. They're both abandoned. The both are just empty. I mean, look at the shopping carts and there's just nothing here. Go ahead and drop a comment down below and leave a like on this video if you would like to see Toys R Us come back. I don't know if you guys can see, right on the door, this location is permanently closed. You can see the little R's in there, but they have it blacked out on the door, so you can't really get a good look at the inside as of right here. Look at this. It's already falling apart and renovated. They're breaking it up. You can still see registers, desks, shelves. But that's no issue that it's blacked out. We will be able to get some shots of the inside, walk around, get some more of cinematic shots of anything, an exclusive tour of the inside of this Toys R Us. Also, not to mention everyone, it is about 100 degrees outside. I'm running off like three hours of sleep. So if I seem kind of down or tired looking, that's the reason. But it's also, I feel fine. It's also just because it's so hot outside right now. Also, you know I was in a rush to get here because you can see I don't even have a bandana on. What kind of explorer is it if I'm not wearing a bandana? I don't wanna bore you guys with just the outside of this building. I do wanna show you all around it. So I'll walk around the sides, walk around the back. While I am walking around back though, as you can see, it's, I mean, it's, it's just a brick wall. It's just a building. Based off the last video I posted that obviously had great feedback on the video, it was just so many people saying how sad they are. They'll never get to go there again, or they've never even been there. But it is coming back. It will be true kids. It won't be Toys R Us, so I guess there's no more Toys R Us kids. This is just like a side entrance, it looks like. Nothing really to it though. Officially coming around back, there isn't really too much to see. It's just loading docks, but something I will show you is that there is a baby carriage here. It's nothing compared to the last one. At least we found a couple things. This isn't, but look at this. We have a baby carriage just sitting here. Probably move this. It's kind of in the road, honestly. That's kind of cool though, isn't it? Probably shouldn't even be touching it. It's pretty gross. Oh, we have the Mega, I honestly don't even know what that is, but we have stuff over here. There is things left behind. Literally the back loading dock is filled with stuff. We have games, we have dolls. A lot of it is pretty gross and weathered. There is some stuff back here. There's even like a Jeffrey Giraffe. Whoa, this is serious. I don't even know if I want to touch it. It's not that bad though. There's still stuff in boxes. It's nothing crazy, but what is this? 
We have a we have a car wheel. This is for like a, a PlayStation or something. This is literally Toys R Us right here. So I don't know if they if this is just stuff that didn't sell. This is kind of stuff they just threw here, or this is probably stuff that they put somewhere that someone just absolutely threw things around. Or maybe it was the construction workers. I'm sure this will be in a dumpster very soon. I can't imagine this is just going to be sitting here. The least I could do is probably at least pick it up. Oh, that's actually really heavy. Toys R Us is Jeffrey the Giraffe. This this is definitely, I think, just like a normal giraffe can kind of ripped. This could literally be like Jeffrey the Giraffe, though. We should stand him up. This is like the last thing from this store. Should I put him out front? I should put Jeffrey the Giraffe out front of this store. Look at all this stuff, though. Where do you ever find stuff like this? There's even, I don't, what is this? It's a, it, this is a coach. Look at it, it's literally rusted out here from all the rain. Well, the water pipes right here too. God, all this stuff is literally right off the loading dock. Oh, this is like a little tykes, uh, pretty filthy. I'm definitely not touching that, but that's definitely a vacuum. I think I had that when I was a kid. This is the Toys R Us back door right here, and this is all stuff, if you can see, that is thrown back here. My last Toys R Us, I probably found like five things out back, and they were like, just like old teddy bears. This is actually, like, you can see someone probably just stole this. This is empty, I thought this was filled, but. I guess this is game, lip reading game. They have Nerf guns. This thing's probably like, it's definitely broken. It's literally waterlogged. It has water in it. But this is probably expensive. Like, it's a car steering wheel, not expensive, but that's probably like 50 bucks. Operation, classic game. Leave a comment if you've played Operation before. I feel like you guys definitely have. What is that? Oh, it's like a little kitchen. Oh, here's another Operation. Oh no, that's just a lid. Oh, all the cards are still there too. Hey, what is it? Oh, this is the actual operation. This is like brand new. This is literally fresh out of the box. Probably sitting on the shelves in the back, like just not sold, and they probably literally just didn't know what to do with it. This game is just opened. There's tape on the side. This is the absolute jackpot. The little tweezer th uh, tweezers are right here for the game. We have Woody, and Toy Story just came out. Little did we know Woody would be out here getting soaked in rain with Jeffrey the Giraffe. I wanna like go ahead and show the rest of the outside of the building, but the, it's honestly just a normal building. This is what's cool about it. Every Toys R Us I've been to, I've found at least one or two things, a couple things, but we had a shopping cart filled here of like brand new toys that have just been sitting out here. You can tell someone was going through them, unless wind blew it over, but that's heavy. There's no way that got blown over. And this inside is not yet ripped apart, but with kind of splitting the segments up, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the inside of this Toys R Us. As you can see, we have the cash registers, the desks, the lanes, the aisles, back rooms, security rooms, we have it all. Go ahead, check this out, because this Toys R Us will be demolished soon. Roll the footage. I'm gonna take Jeffrey and I'm gonna put him out front of the Toys R Us because all this stuff's just gonna get thrown away. I know it. So the least I can do is put Jeffrey back out front before I leave. Where do you guys think I should put him? Just right here in the middle? Someone might take it, but no way. Who's gonna touch this? Stand him up real nice. He's right there. 
right in the heart of Toys R Us. Guys, this video was awesome to make. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. This is Toys R Us, man. It's not gonna be around for, I mean, it's, it's not around anymore, but it's gonna be gone. They're all gonna be gone until they're called True Kids. But as of Toys R Us, the slogan, the name, the power of Toys R Us will be gone. Follow all my social media, link below. It helps me out a lot. Also, I'm gonna be posting on my social media. I'm gonna make stories about this place. So if you're watching this video, go under my social media, follow it and check out my stories. I'm gonna be posting more stuff about this place, more pictures and videos of the inside. Side. So if you guys are interested in that, follow me at Kyle McGrand down below. I'm back to post some more consistently. Big, big news coming in the future. I don't want to ramble for too much longer. So I'll see you in the next video. Peace.